Hey guys, welcome back to Gretchen's Bakery. I think it's about time that we do some cake decorating. It's been a while, it's been recipes, recipes, recipes. But the good thing about that is now we have all of our recipes so that we can make a cake. And not to mention, I had all of these beautiful roses in the freezer. So what better way to turn my beautiful garden into a bouquet of flowers cake with a nice basket weave decoration. So really, uh, you guys can use whatever recipes you'd like to use for the cake and the filling. Um, because the main part of this cake is really to show you how to do the basket weave and then decorate the whole top to look like a really nice basket of flowers. I decided to use my white cake recipe here and then I have my Swiss buttercream which I've divided up and I've made some of it strawberry buttercream and then I've also added just a little bit of red food color to that strawberry buttercream because I just wanted to really heighten up the color of that to sort of match the decoration of my flowers so that when the cake is cut, I know it's kind of dorky, but I wanted the inside of my cake to match the flowers on the top of my cake. <laughs> I am going to be using the extra large basket weave tip that's found in the Gretchen's Bakery Extra Large kit. Um, but basically this is an 898 a Tico tip here and it's really just a basket weave tip that is an extra large tip. So I'm just gonna do a real rough crumb coat on this cake because the final icing is actually going to be the basket weave. So you're not really gonna see what the cake looks like underneath. And when I say thin, I do mean thin because that basket weave decoration is going to put quite a thick layer of more icing on top. So you don't want to have a real heavy crumb coat on the bottom and then like another quarter inch of icing on top of that. In my opinion, it's just too much icing. Is there really such a thing? So there you go guys, there is my basket weave rose bouquet cake that's really for beginners because it's pretty simple to do if you just really get down the technique and probably the hardest part is to make the roses. For those of you guys who struggle with making the roses and I've actually been called out on my roses in the past. People say, hey, those don't look like roses, but you know what? That's how I make roses. Mine are a little bit wild. And I do have a tutorial, a full from start to finish tutorial on how to make buttercream roses and actually all of these colors that you see right here on this cake one pastry bag one bowl guys so it's really simple when I show you the professional trick to get it done so I really do hope you try it you can use any recipe that you like it doesn't have to be the exact same recipes that I used here basically this was just to show you guys the technique on how to decorate a basket weave 
rose bouquet cake for any occasion. So as always, thanks for watching Gretchen's Bakery. Get all the best recipes at Gretchen'sBakery.com and I'll see you soon.